Good morning everyone and happy Sunday. Welcome back to Eliminate. I hope everyone's had a really great week. This morning we are going to start off with our warm up and we're going to do the Ola Daily song and I think some people might remember it from our Eliminate Summer Week last summer. But for our warm up this morning I need a special helper. Does anybody have any idea who my special helper might be? I'll give you a clue. It's a girl and she has dark hair and she's a wee bit crazy. Does anybody have any ideas? Shout out a few names if you have any. Oh, that's right, it's Abby. Yeah. Abby's our special helper. Yeah. So Abby's gonna help us do Ola Daily this morning. So I'm gonna start Ola Daily. I'm gonna say the words and I'm gonna say the actions. And then you, with Abby, are going to copy what I do and what I say. Okay, so let's give it a go. So everybody, off their sofas, adults as well, give yourself a shake and get ready to do Oh Adele. Oh Adele, Oh Adele, I missy, missy, massa. I missy, missy, massa. A boogie, woogie, woogie. A boogie, woogie, woogie. Oh, out of way, out of way, out of way. Oh, out of way, out of way, out of way. That was good. That was good. But this, but time, this time, we're going to do it really quietly. We're going to do it really quietly. Oh, a delay. Oh, a delay. A messy, messy massa. A missy missy massa. A boogie woogie woogie. A boogie woogie woogie. Oh, out of way, out of way, out of way. Oh, out of way, out of way, out of way. That was good. That was good. But this time. But this time. We're gonna do it really loud. Like we're gonna do it really loud. Oh, a dearly. Oh, a dearly. A missy, missy, massa. A missy, missy, massa. A boogie, woogie, woogie. A boogie, woogie, woogie. Oh, out of way, out of way, out of way. Oh, out of way, out of way, out of way. That was good. That was good. But this but time. This time we're gonna do it really fast. We're gonna do it really fast. Oh, a daily. Oh, a daily. I miss you, miss you, massa. I miss you, miss you, massa. A boogie, woogie, woogie. A boogie, woogie, woogie. Oh, out of way, out of way, out of way. Oh, out of way, out of way, out of way. That was good. That was good. But that's it. But that's it. Well done, everyone. That's our warm up finished. I hope everyone feels all warmed up now and ready for our worship song. Hi guys! Um, so now we're going to do some worship so we are and I really really love this song and I know you guys love it too and it's about Jesus being the light in the darkness and you know the Bible says that Jesus is the light of the world and you know Jesus he's the, he is the light that can light up the darkness of sin in this world so we just want to really praise and worship him for that. Okay so everybody get up Let's get ready to worship God. And I want you to show everybody how you do it and eliminate, okay? Right, let's go.
guys, it's great to see you again. So, remember last week, we had our own Keepy Uppy Challenge with the toilet roll. And Charlie was our winner with a whopping seven points. But you guys are getting very competitive because you have been sending in your footage of your Keepy Uppy Challenges too. Oh, that reminds me, Charlie. Little surprise for you. Anna and Matthew Dockery, they found your toilet roll. Yeah, they found it. So you no longer have to use the leaves in the trees anymore. Good news. Anyway, let's go and find your challenges. Let's see if anyone can beat Charlie's score. <laughs> right. Boy! Wow, guys, that was amazing. You were so good. Wow, and you beat Charlie hands down. Fantastic, that's so, so good. So I bet you're wondering, what is this week's challenge? Aha, have no fear, we have fixed that already. So this week's challenge is, the challengers need six items of clothing and they need a timer. And we want to see who is going to be the fastest to get their six extra items of clothing on. I wonder who it's going to be. Will it be the ever so sporty Ash? Or will it be our Bible student Andy? Ooh. Or will it be our very competitive Charlie? Let's find out. We're going to watch it now. challenges that was fantastic so i know what you're all thinking who was the winner well we have a draw we had andy and ash that both got 11 seconds well done guys you're today's winners but charlie i'm afraid you only got 18 seconds so that means you're the loser this week but don't feel down at least you've got your toilet roll so you can dry your tears yeah that's all good and it's not all bad news because let's look at our scoreboard charlie you scored a point last week so you have one point and now andy and ash you each have one point too so everyone is on one point see you next week for next week's challenge bye everybody so boys and girls it is night time for our story today's story is found in the new testament of the bible in a book called matthew chapter 14 and it is the story of peter walking on water so jesus had just performed the miracle of feeding the five thousand the disciples had gathered up all the leftover food and Jesus had told them, you go to the boat and head out across the lake. Jesus sent the rest of the people home and he went off to pray up on the hills. Now this wasn't just any ordinary night for the disciples in the boat. It was a stormy night. The winds were strong and the waves were big. So the disciples were not getting very far across the lake because they were fighting against the waves. So three o'clock in the morning, it was dark, it was big waves, it was windy, someone was walking towards him on water. Now who do you think it was? Good job if you said it and you got it right. It was Jesus walking towards him on water, but they didn't know it was Jesus. They were terrified. Now, let's imagine we are also in a boat in the middle of the night. It's windy, it's stormy, there's big massive waves and you see something walking towards you on water. Would you be scared too? I'd cry, I'd hide, I'd be terrified. But the disciples were also scared. But Jesus said to them, do not be afraid, take courage, I am here. 
Peter said to him, Lord, if it really is you, tell me to come to you walking on water. Now, can people walk on water? Can you walk on water? When you go in the bath, can you walk on the water? When you go to the swim pool, can you walk on the water? Well, I can't. So I'm going to assume you can't either. But Jesus was walking on water and he told Peter to come. So Peter went to the side of the boat, got out of the boat and started walking on water towards Jesus. He trusted Jesus and he was walking towards him. But when he started to remember the strong winds and the big waves and he started to focus on those instead of trusting in Jesus, he started to sink. And he called out to Jesus and Jesus immediately reached for his hand, grabbed him and they got back into the boat. Now, Peter wasn't able to walk on water out of his own strength. Peter can't walk on water. But he was able to do it whenever he trusted in Jesus. But the minute that he started to focus on what was going on around him, instead of trusting in Jesus, he started to sink. Now, boys and girls, sometimes we can go through storms in our lives. I don't mean that there's winds and there's waves and there's actual big storms, but I mean sometimes we can go through things that are a little bit scary and sometimes aren't what we want to happen. But just like Peter, when he was walking towards Jesus, he was trusting in Jesus. But whenever he started to focus on what was going on around him, he got scared. And just like that, when we are going through our storms in our lives, we need to trust in God and remember that he's in control and he has a plan. Because when we focus on what's going on around us, it can be very scary. But when we focus on him, we remember that he's in control and he's got a plan. So there's two people I was thinking of in the Bible. One is Noah and one is Joseph. Does anybody know what Noah had to do? Noah had to build a boat. So God told him to build a boat because he was going to send a flood. And Noah had to build a boat for his family and for the animals. But do you know what? I'm sure people were laughing at Noah and weren't being very nice to him. Because could you imagine if somebody next door to you was starting to build a big massive boat? You'd be like, what is he doing? Is he building a boat? But you know what? God had a plan. Noah was on that boat for ages, a long, long time, because it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And then he had to stay on the boat until all the water had disappeared and gone away and dried up. Now, when he was on that boat, I'm sure he might have been a little bit scared, being like, what is going on? Or when he was building the boat, thinking, why am I building this boat? But he put his trust in God and remembered God had a plan and didn't focus on what was going on around him. He didn't focus on the people. He didn't focus on um, all the things that were going on around him. He focused on God and remembered that God had a plan and God loved him. The other person was Joseph. Joseph's brothers weren't very nice to Joseph. They sold him. And Joseph ended up in jail. And whenever all these things were happening, I'm sure Joseph was like, what is going on? Why am I in jail? But you know what? God had a plan for Joseph. And in the end, Joseph was put in charge of the whole of Egypt. Now, when he was in jail, I'm sure he was thinking, what is going on? This isn't supposed to be the way it is. But you know what? God had a plan and ended up, he was in charge of Egypt. And it ended up good in the end. But I'm sure he wasn't thinking it was going to end up good when he was in jail. But you know what? Sometimes... When things are happening, it might seem a bit scary and it might seem like things are not going the way they should be or not going to what you think the plan is. But we need to remember that God has a plan for our lives and he loves us. Now at the minute, it's a bit weird, isn't it? We can't go out. We can't go to eliminate. We can't go see our friends or our family. Can't go to school. But you know what? We need to remember that God has a plan and he loves us. Just like God had a plan for Noah and Joseph's lives, he also has a plan for your life. And he loves you and he cares for you. So at this time, remember to put your trust in Jesus and focus on him. Not focus on the things that are going on around you and all the things that you can't do or that you can't go and see people. But focus on the fact that, it, that God has a plan and that he loves you. Well, boys and girls, that's us for another week. So guys, I hope you've had fun. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the worship, the warm up, the story. Um, I know I enjoyed watching all you guys dance and take part in all the challenges. So I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. Um, 
I'm just going to put it out there that I was super, super quick. So you just have to be really quick. And I think, personally, I don't think anybody's going to beat me. I don't think anybody can beat me in the talents. I don't think anybody can beat me in the dance moves. Um, but that's just my opinion. Like I'm not big headed or anything. Um, so I hope you have had fun. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. And look forward to seeing more videos of you guys dancing and having fun. Um, so just before we go, I'm just going to close in prayer. So if everybody would just like to bow their heads. And we'll just pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, that even though we can't come to church, Lord God, that we can still meet you in our living rooms, in our bedrooms, in our kitchens, wherever it is that we may be, Lord. Lord God, just thank you for the fun that we've had, Lord God. We thank you for um, the dancing and the worship and, and the story that was given to us today, Lord God. And Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you're with us this week, Lord God. We pray, Lord, that you protect us, Lord God. Keep us safe, Lord. Pray that you keep um, our mummies and our daddies and our brothers and our sisters and grannies and grandas, friends and family, all safe, Lord. And Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you're with us throughout this week. That we can speak to you whenever we want, Lord God. That you never leave our side, Lord. We thank you, God, that you love us and that you protect us, Lord. Pray that's all in your name. Amen. See you next week, Eliminate.